Oh, and we're here to talk about The Hunger Games, which is clearly one of the most anticipated movies of the year. And this is an interesting situation where I have read all of the books mm -hmm. and actually love the books, and I want to defend the books, and you have not read them at all. True enough. And so I'm actually here to offer something incredibly exotic, which is an opinion of The Hunger Games that does not compare the movie to the book. For those of us who have read the book, this is really a good adaptation. This is an adaptation that does justice to books that are actually beautifully written as opposed to books that are kind of crummy and that it doesn't matter. It tells a story I won't in a ask way, what series you just referred to. Oh, I, I, shan't, I shan't say anything. But it, it really does capture the feeling of The Hunger Games, which is this really kind of dystopian vision where teenagers fight to the death in a gladiator-style battle. Listen, for an hour I thought the movie was fantastic. Um, I loved the whole idea of this uh, American Idol as a teenage death game. I actually found it incredibly creepy in the yes. movie. And I also thought that the characterization of the elite society watching this game and feeding off it was really, really good. These pop and jays who are like the court of Marie Antoinette, crossed with characters from The Wizard of Oz. Yes, I mean, so this is a great comparison between those who don't have all of the people who are in the other districts versus the people of the capital, who just right. look like the decadent fops that they are. Right, and I thought it was very timely because I thought that those fops really are a satire of the 1%. And I thought that for about an hour, the movie really seemed to capture where we're going. Then we get to The Hunger Games, or The Most Dangerous Game, or whatever you want to call it. And I have to say, the movie started to lose me because uh, I really think the second half of the movie is not very good. I would not disagree with you that the games themselves are the least interesting part and probably the least interesting part of the book but I think within having to show how this happens how Katniss Everdeen played by a wonderful Jennifer Lawrence by the way I think that we need to see how she starts to prevail and how she starts to develop this revolutionary fervor mm -hmm. and so the fight parts of them where it, they may not be as thrilling to you I think they are absolutely crucial to moving forward and made perfect sense. Well, maybe so, but having not read the book, when yeah. they finally got to The Hunger Games, I felt like I had seen a lot of movies that were basically survival games. And basically the film turns into a thriller. Uh, it uh, reminded me of movies like Rambo, except that it made me wish I was watching Rambo because I don't think it's very suspenseful. And I think there's another problem with it, and here I can't say whether it goes back to the book or not. But I think it's strange to have a movie about 24 teenagers trying to kill each other off, and then one of them, Katniss, is going to emerge victorious, and yet she does this without getting her hands dirty. She never has to be brutal, and that's where I sensed there was something perhaps of the YA quality of the book. She's too much of a saint. Did you she not see get her get all scratched up and get, and get her... Yeah, but she never has to do anything really nasty. And in a movie about teenagers killing each other, I find that odd. I found that kind of a sop to the audience. So in the end, I didn't think it made The Hunger Games a bad movie, but it made it, after an incredible buildup, something of a disappointment mm. to me. And I, who was on the defensive, who really wanted to make sure that it did do justice to the book, I felt tremendous relief because I really, this is a case where I really would have been angry if they had kind of softened it too much. And I really think that they kept the tone that was needed. And we need to see where Katniss goes next. Well, I'm curious too.